Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the Maryland Darling Show, and welcome to another ink review. Today we're looking at a brown ink from Tatia, Tatia Yukio Ink Series Number Two, Umi Marisake. Thanks go out to Gary and Kathy Scott for providing the sample for this review. Today's pen will be using the Red Noodler's Nib Creeper with a stainless steel flex nib. <coughs> Here is our inks comparison panel. This is kind of a purpley brown. It does have a little bit of pink hints, hints to it. But other than that, it's a very dark pink, pinky brown. Let's see if I can bring up the lights just a little. There you can kind of see how it looks. Isn't that nice? Okay. Here is our ink swatch. A water resistant test shows that I might not want to use this on the outside of an envelope for fear it may wash away. Here is our ink splotch. <clears throat> and I did notice that there's just a little bit of blue coming out. Which I thought was interesting. And then I looked at the toilet paper chromatography, and there's like a brown, or there's like a pink, a brown, a dark brown, and then right along the edge there's a definite blue that's coming out. That's very interesting. Alright, let's take a look at some paper review, shall we? This is the Pen and Gear Memo Book from Walmart.com. slides down just a little. There we go. All right. This is the Pen and Gear Memo Book from Walmart.com. No feathering, no bleeding, no ghosting. This is Lightweight Traveler's Notebook Paper. No feathering, no bleeding, no ghosting. <coughs> This is super lightweight traveler's notebook paper. No feathering, no bleeding, normal ghosting. Moleskin 70 GSM. Feather like a chicken, bled through the page. I would not use this paper with fountain pen ink. 100 GSM a use. No feathering, no bleeding, no ghosting. 52 GSM Tamoy River paper. Don't notice my fat finger swipe. No feathering, no bleeding, no ghosting. 80 GSM Rhodia dot pad. No feathering. No bleeding, no ghosting. What is under my fingernail? This is from the Jot Journal from the Dollar Tree. No feathering. No bleeding. One little tiny hint of ghosting. <clears throat> Nemocene 80 GSM paper. No feathering, no bleeding, but the tiniest hint, the tiniest hint of ghosting. Oxford optic paper, no feathering. But just a little bit of ghosting. The Premier Premium Journal from the 99 cent store. Feathered just a, just a little bit, right? Oops, right there. And it didn't bleed through that bad, just a little tiny bit of feathering. Claire Fontaine, 90 GSM. No feathering, 
No bleeding, no ghosting. Lamy booklet, 90 GSM. No feathering. Tiny hint of ghosting. Exceed 100 GSM heavyweight paper from Walmart.com. No feathering, but just a hint of ghosting. Unison composition book from Target.com for 50 cents. No feathering, no bleeding, no ghosting. True Red Composition Book from Staples.com It does look like it's spread into the page and it did go through the paper. Fabriano Ikuqua 85 GSM Looks like it tried to feather but no bleeding. The Nanami 7C 68 GSM to my river paper. No feathering, no bleeding, no ghosting. <clears throat> CVS caliber notebook paper. No feathering, no bleeding, no ghosting. Oxford notebook paper. No feathering. No bleeding, no ghosting. Made wide ruled notebook paper. Barely any feathering. Bled through the page. I would not use this paper with fountain pen ink. Five star notebook paper. Feather like a chicken. Ghosted through the page. I would not use this paper with fountain pen ink. The Premier Premium, I'm sorry, HP Premium 32 pound copy paper. No feathering. No bleeding, no ghosting. Acabe cross section pad. No feathering. Just a hint of ghosting. JNB Copper Plate Graph Pad from JohnNeilBooks.com No feathering. Hints of ghosting. Original Crown Mill 100 GSM paper. No feathering. But it did ghost through the page. Okay. Let's take a look at a comparison panel. Okay. Comparison panel. Now this does have kind of a pink department. I'm gonna look in the pink department just to see if there's anything in here that even looks close to this. No, not really. That's it for the pink department. <coughs> this leans more in the brown department. All right. This is Tasha Umi. Umi Marisaki next to Diatramentus. William Shakespeare. Private Reserve Vampire Red. Monteverdi Scotch Brown. Diatramentus Urban Sienna, Diamond Ochre, This is 
way off. <coughs> Berry brown, no. Pannonia chestnut brown. Diamine saddle brown. Noodler's polar brown. Java. Coco de Brazil. Noodler's Beaver, Lamy Crystal Topaz, Noodler's Nightshade, Noodler's Walnut Brown, Diamond Becky, Pen BBS 510, Ferris Whale Press Beaver Dan Brown, Noodler's Whaleman's Sepia, or Inklinger Sepia, Diamond Winter Spice, Robert Oster Hippo Purple, Monte Verde Brown Sugar, Monte Verde Pumpkin Cake, Carcos Brown, Diamond Chocolate Brown, Jayaba Le Dete, and Monarca Tiara Colorada. Wow. This might lie somewhere else. Maybe a purple ink? No. No, no real purples. And it's not a red ink. Although. Robert Oster Astro Keys are Rot. Food color red. Diamond Oxblood. These are kind of similar. Colorverse Hubble Zoom. Colorverse Dark Energy. Sailor Manual Umi. Noodler's Black Swan and English Roses. Raspberry Rose, Deep Dark Red, Diamond Robert, mm. Blueberry Muffin, Cherry Danish, mm. Stipula Dark Red, really it. Let's see if there's anything else. Nope. That's it. Okay. <clears throat> so this leans more red than anything. Which is surprising because it totally looks brown to me. Anyway. What did you guys think of today's ink? Are you guys looking for a brown, brownish pink? Let me know in the comment section below. That is all for today. I want to thank you all for watching. I hope that you guys enjoyed that one. I hope that you learned something. Please share, Please share this video with, with your friends. Follow me on social media. Follow me on social like, media. Comment, like, comment, subscribe, ring the little ring bell. The little bell. Make sure, it's, Make sure it's head to all. So when I upload new content, YouTube notifies you. And I will be back very soon with another video. So take care until then. Okay, love you. Bye.